They say that genius and madness are often two sides of the same coin. Here we are walking along a breathtakingly beautiful landscape. And now say hello to your ghost friend! Ah yes, the mechanical excellence we've come to expect from the creator of Metal Gear Solid. Ah yes, the flying whales we have also come to expect. Wow, this is so cool! And totally worth climbing all these steep ass mountains first. I am so good at this game now, you guys. I mean, I haven't fallen over since oh, for fuck's sake. Eyes open, dumbass. Hey, look, it's Troy Baker. I'm the particle of God that permeates all existence. Never mind. Oh, I know him. He's the third recasting of Grindelwald. That's pretty cool. Oh, come on, man. I didn't sign up for freaking Annabelle. Well, she looks normal, I guess. Wait, why is she big now? Like Mario and Princess Peach. So they're running on herself? I give up. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. I said I give up. Let's be honest, we all know that Kojima's brain is like a browser with too many tabs open. He's that dude in college who got high listening to Muse and thought the world was about to end. Even though the soundtrack for this game is basically Twilight 2. But this is Hideo Kojima, guys. We all know that his games are about as good as it gets. I mean, look at this. This game is still awesome today. It was literally 20 years ahead of its time. Who cares that he replaced Snake with Raiden? Metal Gear 2 was just that good. This is the guy who somehow made a freaking ladder an iconic moment in gaming. When he made an open world, he really did make a world that we could play in, where experimentation was actually rewarded. So what if he forgot to give clothing to Quiet, or more than three lines of dialogue to Kiefer? Be gentle. We were too busy playing with the Rocket Fist to care. He made a viral demo, you guys. Even when they cancelled his Silent Hill project, this man did what our parents always threatened to do, and just went home and made his own. I make a hamburger better than McDonald's. <laughs> he somehow managed to hide all of this inside another game, about post-apocalyptic postman Pat of all things, and he didn't stop there. He also mixed in a plot about death beaches, the uncomfortable notion that Amazon distribution centers can survive an apocalypse, magic babies, World War I, rain that ages you, and so many whales. <laughs> Dory. Dory, this is not whale. I say somehow, because famously, even Kojima himself doesn't know what the plot is. Here's the thing though, underpinning all of this is the same thing that he always does, where the gameplay is so perfect that you don't even care about all the weirdness. The core gameplay loop in Death Stranding is simply wonderful. Adult life is chaos, and as we all know, chaos is a ladder. The older I get, the more I love anything in life that leads to a moment of calm. And this game gave me hours upon hours of this. Yes, Death Stranding is a literal uphill drag to begin with. But after the first few chapters, through the magic of a USB keychain, Daryl is able to start 3D printing, and share useful creations like roads and zip lines with all the other Daryls out there. It's somewhere between a multiverse and a social experiment. This one's for you. And after spending the first few hours having to do things the hard way, I gained a profound appreciation for exoskeletons that made me stronger, or better at climbing. Driving down a road that a few hours earlier did not exist, is satisfying in a way that I just can't describe, especially when I only built part of it, and the rest was filled in by another gamer somewhere who I will probably never meet. You get some occasional combat and stealth mixed in too, and it's here that all of the Metal Gear muscle memory will kick back in, 
but mostly you move things from A to B. The ways in which you achieve this evolve over time, growing from tedious and frustrating to an odd blend of relaxing and engaging and sometimes even amazing. Somehow guys, Kojima did it again. He dared to be different and made a game as divisive as it is impressive. He literally turned inventory management into that Fallout meme, but in a brilliant and mechanically excellent way that only someone like him would think to do. In a world that is as beautiful and rich as it is cruel and uncompromising, Death Stranding will take you on a walking tour of every possible human emotion, and it is a journey that I will definitely be taking again one day. It's been a while since I've made videos just focusing on one game, so I appreciate you supporting me till the end while I figure out the format, and I hope you guys are enjoying my backlog adventure so far. Remember you can follow along with my progress using the link in the description, and if you'd like to support my channel further please remember to like, subscribe and comment. What did you think of Death Stranding? Did you understand the plot? Are you excited for the sequel? See you on the next one.